Andres, it's great to see you again. I'm glad we got a chance to sit down and chat, in particularly for us to visit again to talk about uh, the book that uh, we really began to think about nearly 10 years ago now. It's hard to believe it's been that long. Our book called The Heresy of Orthodoxy, uh, a book really on diversity and unity in early Christianity. And let's just start with the obvious question is, let us reflect uh, why we wrote this book and what we set out to accomplish. Well, uh, I think we both uh, believe that the issues that are addressed in the book are very significant. Uh, when you think about it, it's all about foundations. It's about the foundations of our faith, about our uh, about Christianity, the origins of Christianity, uh, the apostolic uh, gospel, uh, who is Jesus Christ, is he the Messiah, and then can we trust our Bibles? Mm -hmm. uh, can we, uh, how did we get the books of the Bible? How did we, uh, how, how do we know that the, the manuscripts that, that our English translations are based on uh, are reliable and, and have not been corrupted? And uh, as you know, uh, the detractors of Christianity, uh, they know that too. And so they are basically trying to attack Christianity mm -hmm. at the very foundations, uh, right. the origins, uh, our book, the, the, the Bible. And, and so we felt that uh, we wanted to defend scripture, but we also wanted to, as honest scholars and as historians, uh, look at the same evidence that they're looking at and say, is it really true? Mm -hmm in the case of the Bauer thesis, that, that early Christians uh, had a diversity of beliefs and only later uh, the Roman church as a, some sort of a power play uh, decreed what all Christians ought to believe. In other right. words, the cynical view that uh, as Christians, we don't necessarily believe what is the truth about Jesus and about Christianity, but simply what the church at some point had the power to impose on, on all of Christendom. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember when you and I originally talked about this book years ago. I mean, the, the, the word that was just being sort of uh, kicked around in modern scholarship was this word diversity, and we know that comes from Walter Bauer's original thesis, this idea that in early Christianity, there really was no early Christianity. There was just Christianities, plural. Um, and so I'm reminded again about sort of why that's so critical, as you said, because if there's no such thing as original Christianity and we can't know what it is, then what we say we're doing now isn't really anything significant at all. Um, and I know that was a large part of why we originally uh, wrote this book. Say a quick word also about uh, Walter Bauer. Um, you know, people hear that name and think, who is this guy? And what ex can we summarize his thesis in sort of a couple sentences? Well, uh, what would you say well, in response to that? Well, he's a very influential scholar. Most people actually know him for his work in Greek lexicography, mm -hmm. the famous BDAC Bauer lexicon that is still the standard today after all those years uh, but in many ways his, his more influential work was done uh, through the book he wrote uh, heresy and orthodoxy in earliest christianity which originally appeared in i think the 1930s mm -hmm. wasn't translated till the early 70s That's right. into english uh, and so in the english-speaking world it's been especially since then that uh, his work has been very influential. And so what Bauer argued uh, is essentially that the early Christians uh, did not have just one uh, belief that was unified, but instead there were multiple versions of Christianity, Christianities, if you believe, mm -hmm. if, if you will, in the plural. Yeah. And it was only then in the uh, second, third century that gradually uh, Christianity coalesced around what today we would look at as historic uh, traditional Christianity. And yeah. so that's what uh, what others have picked up on because it resonates so well with this uh, contemporary uh, almost worship you might say uh, of diversity as, as, as our supreme value. Mm -hmm. That's what tolerance is all about right. and yeah. so it really puts us as Christians on our heels because we find ourselves uh, b b being uh, presented as, as bigoted, as narrow-minded, right. as, as, as intolerant right. and, 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 and so uh, I think that explains the popularity of Bauer's thesis, uh, even you know, 80 years after it was first uh, published. Yeah, and I think it, one of the things I think that people love about the Bauer thesis, if they want to criticize Christianity, is it reverses the typical order. We think 
things started out unified and then later became diverse, and Bauer argues the opposite, right? Which is, no, things started off very diverse and later became unified. So, well, I'm looking forward to this conversation and just an opportunity to go deeper uh, into this book uh, as we reflect upon it while we wrote it, and uh, just a chance for us to, to think again of how relevant it is today.